All right, starting to back up. Here's I'm gonna make this one the first episode. I just recorded three, but I don't want the one about how to apology videos to be the first one. I want this to be a better like intro to the series. This will the series will be called the Unhinged Rantings of a Madman. So I'll just have this be the first episode. I just got done with the one where I talk about Radiohead for an hour. Uh, and, uh, yeah. I changed the light, the weird RGB light I have to strip to green. Because, like, green, crazy, I don't know. I'm just making crap up. This will be a very loose series. I'll just rant. It'll, it's not going to be edited at all unless, like, someone walks in on me while I'm doing it. But, basically, I want it to be like, I say my piece on something for, like, an hour, and straight to YouTube. <laughs> That's what I want this to be. I want the video to go straight to YouTube. Got chocolate chips. Yummo. Uh. Huh. Got a clip on mic so I can just, like, walk around while I talk, because I pace a lot when I think. Uh, I do, I'm not really wearing, here's the thing, is when I don't have anything to do in a day, I don't try to, like, shape myself up, I don't shower, I don't get dressed, I, my, the robe I had is in the wash, getting washed, so... I can't, so now I'm just wearing a shirt. I'll try and keep it up, but I'm too lazy to button it. So, yeah. Basically, I just I want to be able to talk and talk about stuff because I love talking. And this is a great, and I want people to hear it. So now I'm giving a space where I can shout all my bull crap into the ether, and then five people in the world will see it. I guess, if they want to. But yeah, I just want this to be, like, my distractible, basically. Mark, if you don't know what distractible is, it's a podcast by Markiplier. Where him and his buddies talk, and it's, like, hilarious. By the way, can I just say, they're jerks for not putting on YouTube. Like, you could at least leave all the ones that were on... No, that'd be dumb. Never mind. Basically, the podcast used to be on YouTube, but then they deleted all the videos, and now it's all on Spotify. And then they'll post, like, animated highlights of all the... On the YouTube now. But I don't like Spotify. Because, uh, I just don't. I have my reasons. So, I feel betrayed. <laughs> I love that podcast. It was so nice. <sighs> that was a lot more chocolate chips than I wanted to grab. Dang it. This will be very boring if... I'm expecting if people listen to this at all, it'll be, like, in the background. Like, they're not going to be paying attention to this. This will be something you can play in the background while you're doing something else. Like, doing dishes or something. I don't know. Playing video games. Hmm. <laughs> but, yeah. I just want to, like... I'll try and keep, like, a consistent theme for each video. Um. But even then, it doesn't... Like, I'll still veer off a ton, because that's just how my brain works. And just go on a big train of thought. <laughs> um, I shouldn't have eaten so many chocolate chips. Gotta stop eating them. Can't do anything. <laughs> and now I don't know what to talk about. That was, like, all I had to say, I think. Um... I guess if you're confused as to why the next step... Basically, I recorded three episodes before this, so you'll see. In the next episode, I'll be even more newbie-ish, because I've already done this for three hours at this point. No, like, just over two hours, actually. This will be the third. Um, What to talk about? I don't know. I don't know what to talk about. I'd like to introduce myself, but you'll get to know me, I guess, as this series goes on. As I give my opinion on certain things. Hmm. 
this room is a mess. I'm not going to clean it up. Because uh, I don't want to. I'm lazy. I... Gosh dang it, Max. What was I going to talk about? It hasn't even... It's just been five minutes. Well, dang it. I love my hair. I don't know why I had to say that like in video, but yeah. <laughs> my hair... Like, it's very on or off for me for hair. Like, this, I my hair used to be crazy long. Like, we went on an RV trip, and I just didn't get it cut at all for, like, eight months. And it was crazy long, and it was awesome. And then my mom forced me to cut it. What a jerk. <laughs> How dare she want me to look like a respectable human being. Uh, but now it's finally getting, like, to, like, a length where I can, like, really screw with it a bunch. And... That's, the camera's inverted, so I can, yeah, I can really, like, just have fun with it now. Also, I had her cut, like, the top of it longer before, because the first time she cut it, she, like, it was all really short. I do not like myself with really, really short hair. It has to be, like, there has to be something there to mess with, like, something shapeable in it. <laughs> yeah. I am a redhead. You probably can't tell with the green lights, but I am a ginger. A ginger. Um. What the flip do I talk about? I don't know. I really should have someone to like bounce ideas off, of, bounce dialogue off of, but. Uh, I wouldn't be making this if I did, so, <laughs> if I had friends, I wouldn't be, if I had good friends, I wouldn't be here. I know people, and I have friends, but, like, they don't, they don't talk to me, ever, so, are they really friends? I need someone to talk to, man, like, and my mom doesn't count, it has to be someone I'm not related to. Because that's boring and I already know everything about him. I need someone new that I can learn about, you know? And that they can learn about me, you know? Just both ways. Um, that was cool fedora. Which I guess makes me seem like an incel. If you're on the internet, can I do the... You're only in it... I say you are you can wear a fedora as long as you don't wear it, like, fully right above your eye. As long as the top of it's not right above your eyes like this. As long as you've got some hair exposed right under it, like it's pointed back a bit, then it's perfect. Because that's how I wear it. And I love it. But it screws up my hair when I do it, so it's like, if I put it on, I gotta keep it on, or else I'm gonna look ugly, uh, weird... Once I take it off. <laughs> um, I'm just looking around the room. What's some crap? I have guitar. I play guitar. Um, why do I have so many canes? And <laughs> I just like collecting sticks. Canes. I got all these fancy... I guess I can show them off. I can grab them and bring them over. Just got this one. It's like a tiki staff. It's kind of funny. Yeah, I should go on walks with this a lot. Like, if I, I mean, it's started snowing a bunch. It's November, so I can't really do that. But also, it probably helped in the snow, actually. Like, get some boots on and then go on a walk, listen to music. That'd be fun. Um, I have a normal... I'm not going to fish that out of the pile. But um, it was like a normal cane I bought at a fair once in a different state while we were traveling. Yeah. And I love the cane. I love it. It's such a nice cane. <laughs> um, what else do I have? I know I went off camera. I will walk back in a minute once I uh not find anything to talk about. I guess okay. There's nothing over there. Uh, um, what? to do. This is a lot, this will probably be a lot of the series, just me pacing around, making random noises. Like, that's one thing I'm deathly afraid of when talking to people, is running out of things to talk about, because silence is terrifying. Because silence is like being damned in a conversation, like, 
there's no progression. Like, if I'm talking to someone I just met and there's awkward silence, like, it's over at that point. You can't learn anything new about them. You can't keep going. It'll good luck crawling your way out of that hole, you know? It sucks. <laughs> um, what is it? This is a cord. Why did I grab this? It's just a Augs cord. Um, got a bunch of guitar picks. Some posters. A lamp, which I had on for like the first two episodes I recorded and then turned off. Because it was getting dark and I wanted to like... And this light's good enough anyway. It's like just right. Like you can see me, but also it's not blinding. Because it's not even in the cam camera view. It's just lighting up what is in the view. So I like it. Here's a guitar speaker right here. Uh, I don't know where I was going with that. I was going to say something about my music, but I don't want to spoil it. So, for if it ever comes out, even. <laughs> it might never. Maybe I'll never be able to release it all, because it's taken super long. I have all these ideas. I've got like... 10 albums of music planned out, but I can't make any of it, because I don't have drums or bass yet. Actually, I've made a few things, but, like, I have to wait to make so much of it, because I just don't have what it, t like, the things to make it yet. we got so many ideas, though. Like, I will, like, that's one of the perks of being homeschooled, is you're just automatically more creative than everyone else. So, that's very nice. Yeah, I am homeschooled. Uh, eat it, I guess, be jealous, what have you, I don't know, <laughs> ha ha ha, <laughs> I have freedom to do whatever I want, uh, yeah, got a random satchel here I take everywhere with me, I need to empty this out, because there's stuff that's like, yeah, that would be nice to use if I were in an emergency situation, like, it's got a lantern in it, but it also, like, I have a bunch of books in it, <laughs> that I need to clear out, because they're really filling it up. It's really stuffed now. It's getting, like, to the point where it'll probably start ripping if I don't do something about it. And I'm worried all the stuff in it's going to start, like, breaking under the pressure, you know? Um, what else? My phone is right here. Um, there's nothing to talk on my phone. Okay. Instagram. I'm going to talk about Instagram, because why not? Here's a funny story. I was, uh, I got a notification from Instagram the other day. Oh, I just scratched my face. That hurt. Uh, and it said a girl I like started following me. So I went to follow them back. And then realized they weren't actually following me. So then I just felt like a huge creep. Like, am I getting punked, Instagram? What the heck is wrong with you? Instagram just sucks. Like, there, it shows me all these, like, basically ads. It says suggested feed. It's just ads. But, uh, there was an option, there's an option in the settings to turn it off for 30 days, like, suggested feed, and I pressed it. It doesn't do anything. Don't waste your time with it. It just, it doesn't do jack. Um, because Instagram's a jerk and sucks, and I don't use it that much. Uh, I never even know what to post on Instagram. Like, my life's so boring. Like, what What am I supposed to post? <laughs> like, I... I don't know. Like, how, most of the time, if I were to force myself to post, I, I don't want to do anything musically, because I want it to be, like, all out of the blue. Like, I'll just, like, release ten albums, and then everyone will be like, Oh my gosh, you're so amazing! Your music's so amazing, Max! <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> Shows how pretentious I am. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> Uh, how highly I think of myself, but, um, yeah, um, where was I going with that? Anyway, right. Oh, no, wait, I finished that story. Yeah, I was like, just, am I being punked, Instagram? Don't say that they're following me. That's cr that's weird and confusing. Maybe it was a different notification, like one of those ones where it's like, you might know this person on Instagram, they're online. Uh, they are on Instagram, and you might know them, kind of notifications. So it might have just been one of those, because they gave me another one shortly after. Uh, like, just like that, the same person. So it might have just been that, and I'm crazy. Or maybe they followed me, 
and then I didn't follow back in time, like, fast enough, so they just unfollowed me. I'm kind of hoping it's that, because then that means there is at least, like, some interest. Oh, man. Watch me accidentally say, like, someone's name, and then accidentally, I mean, if I haven't already doxed myself by the information I've given out, but, like, that'd be embarrassing to just say their name, and then they're like, like, they watch this, like, dude, why would you just dox me like that, bro? <laughs> why would you do that? It's not cool, man. Um, yeah. I gotta sit down. My legs are getting tired. I've been pacing for a really long time. I shouldn't be sitting like that. Uh, I shouldn't be squatting. That's energy consuming. Ugh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. How do I always have stuff to like think about and do? And, like, just say in my head. And then the moment the camera's on, I lose all sense of, like, person. Just all gone. Disappears completely. How how does that happen? It's so annoying. <sighs> I'll look around a bit. See what else I have. To talk about I have no idea what I am talking about also me and my brother have been recording uh, videos like of us playing video games together which is like the only time I get play video games it's like I, I set a limit it's like two hours on Mondays and Fridays because just the way the schedule is because and then that's it. It's like the only time I ever play video games, <laughs> just with him. But he doesn't like when I just start going off into my own world, which would make sense. It'd be annoying if you're recording some professional thing and then you're the dude you're doing. Your partner just kind of starts like dazing off into <laughs> the ether and leaving you alone, kind of in your mind. So I'm making this to kind of give me an excuse to do that. To really be myself. Be what I can't be when in public, you know? What I Say the things I can't say, like, when in a crowd of ten people, you know? <laughs> of other t ten other teenagers. But, now, but with this, like, this is like a controlled environment. Like, I can say it, give all the context in the moment right now without worrying about, like, saying something weird and then, then walk running away or something. I don't know. <laughs> so that's nice maybe I'll tell my friends about this just like be like hey I made this series called... and then like they'll subscribe and then they can just watch the get more of me <laughs> that's another thing is like I want people to be able to have more of me I feel like I don't post enough on Instagram like I want I know people want to be around me uh, I want them to be around me, but obviously I can't do that 24-7, so I'm making this so people can just watch these and always have me around them, you know, kind of? That sounds super pretentious. <laughs> like, I am important and everyone wants to be near me 24-7, you know, but like, I don't know, I don't know, man. <laughs> um... Where was I going to go with that? I had another thing I was about to go transition into. Flip. Oh yeah, me and my brother are starting watching like all the Bo, all of Bo Burnham's stuff. Which, if you don't know who he is, look him up. He's made a bunch of funny stuff and some great songs. And I love music. Bo Burnham's one of the dudes who, the dude who got me into music. Anyway, like not really. Like he's the second thing I went into guardians of the galaxy is what kicked off my love for music. And then Bo Burnham was like the second thing I found after that. <laughs> so I went through a Bo Burnham phase, obviously if you've seen my channel and then I 
right now I'm kind of, I'm my, right now my radio head phase is like pretty much coming to an end. I don't know what the next thing is going to be though. Probably the strokes. I don't know. I feel like the strokes phase has kind of ended. For strokes one republic was kind of the thing I had just gone through, but I think that was shorter of a phase. <laughs> Been through a lot of phases. I went through a cowboy Red Dead Redemption. I was playing Red Dead Redemption two few like a year or two back and went through a huge cowboy phase. Beep pew, beep pew, beep pew. <laughs> Got these toy gums. I have a cowboy hat right here. I have a tan jacket somewhere that I wear a lot that I'd wear a lot. I replaced it with this red nice jacket I found at the thrift store. Me and my mom went to the thrift store to buy some stuff for this Halloween because we were the character all the dudes from the characters from the movie Matilda. The old one. The good one. Because that movie's awesome. I was just one of the cops, so I just had to wear my suit with suspenders and look snazzy. <laughs> but na and that just kind of influenced my look. My look has changed over the years. Before, I used to be like a flannel guy. Like, if you knew me, I was wearing a flannel all the time because flannels look awesome. And I still want to be that. But now, like, I wear t-shirts, just t-shirts and a jacket a lot more. Is more my style. But yeah, like before my style was like, if you saw me, I was wearing jeans, a t-shirt, and a flannel on top. Like that was me before. Just a part of me. Um, where was I going to go with that? I lost where I was. I was going to go somewhere else with that. Phases, right. I went through that, and then I went through huge guardians. Huge guardians of the galaxy phase. Like I had liked guardians of the galaxy before. And then I just, like, it really kicked off. Like, I got the video game, which is really good, by the way. I kind of want to make videos of that. I want to play that with Cast Me. I think I tried recording videos of it, but it was, like, the game is so, like, computer-intensive that you can't really record it anymore. Like, my computer can't even run it right anymore because I have a slow computer. Yeah, so that would suck to make videos on. Uh, but, yeah, it's a really cool game. It's really fun. Love Star Lord kind of stuff. Chris Pratt's awesome. And where's the helmet? I've got the entire Star Lord costume because we were Guardians of the Galaxy for Halloween last year. And we were for like back in like 2017, I think, when I was way young. <laughs> and I was, we were them again, but like the third movie wasn't out yet. And. Like, I don't even think we were characters from the second movie at that. I don't even know if we had seen the second movie yet. So, like, we didn't have all the other characters, like Mantis, yet. But this year we were them, and my mom shaved her head and all that, so that was fun. Got this. This thing is like, this thing was $500. So, I obviously don't spend my money well <laughs> most of the time. It lights up, so that's awesome. And it has Bluetooth headphones built in, so. It's kind of perfect. It is super uncomfortable, though. I took it to, like, a costume dance recently, which, if you know me, you know I'm not that social. And it was, like, I danced with, like, one girl, maybe? And that was it. And it was kind of short and anticlimactic. I don't know. But, uh, it was fun. It was still fun, though. It was great. But, like... It was one of those off days where afterward I just kind of like went home, listened to radio, I didn't cry myself to sleep. Uh, got this big old jacket. Oh yeah, when I walked into the dance, like I immediately had to take the helmet off. Like, I can't see anything in this thing. It's gotten all foggy now from my breath. Immediately had to take it off. Like, I'm going to run into someone wearing this. So I just wore the jacket the whole time. Um... I'm going to say a lot of things I regret throughout this series, like things that I'll say people will see the wrong people will see them. Like the one person I don't want to see a certain clip will see it. And then I'll have to live with that. Gosh, dang it. This will be the series that really kicks in my single for life kind of trajectory I'm heading towards. Like there's no chance of me ever getting married. I'm hosed. I was hosed from the start. I grew up on video games and the internet. And while I've tried, like, working out and getting all these healthy habits, which I do kind of, it's too late now. I've already duped myself. So, we'll see. 
I'm going to end up just being a rock star, like, just living like a sadder Tom York, like, who, like a sad, ah, <laughs> just going to end up being that, just a recluse who, like a recluse, like a combination of Bob Dylan and Tom York, that's what I'm going to be, I'm going to live in a, build a cabin in the woods, go live there, and then just hide from society, play my guitar till I wither away and die. Ah, yes. That's one thing, the S, the S sound, that bugs me a lot. Like, making videos, I've realized the S sound is very fragile. Like, if you do it wrong, it'll, like, stab your ears in the microphone. Like, I did it in a song that I was recording. Like, I've had to learn how to say the S, make an S sound correctly so as to not destroy a microphone. And it's pretty hard to manage. Don't want to just whistle through your teeth when you say, make, when you but yeah, um uh, now what to talk about <sighs> I miss the days when I was like innocent and young and didn't have any worries, you know like, I was innocent. Like, I do miss the days, like, I would just play video games and be like, this is, like, that would, was all I had to live for. And I was like, I don't know, I have anything to worry about. All I have to worry about is the game, is Minecraft, you know? Like, I don't have anything else going on in my life. I didn't have anything else going on in my life back then. It was peaceful. Watch Markiplier and play Minecraft till I die. That would have been the dream. But alas... Hit my from the day I turned thirteen, everything just started going wrong, going so wrong. We ended up moving the day I turned thirteen. By the way, like the day, like I woke up and was thirteen. Basically, that was the first day I slept in. Really, like before that, when I was young, like six and seven and all that, I'd wake up at six every morning. I'd be up before everyone else. You know, I would. Like, I'd be on top of it. I'd be like, ready to get the day in. Like, let's do something. And then the day I turned 13, I slept in at half the day. And then started the loop. Like, stay I stayed up super late. Probably didn't like that night. I stayed up super late. And then went to bed. Woke up early. No, w woke up super late. And then from that day on, I haven't gotten a full night. A good, healthy night's rest since then. Like, I've always stayed up too late, woken up too late, or not, or woken up too early to do stuff and not gotten enough sleep because I stayed up too late. But yeah, that was a sad day for me. <laughs> really the first real turning point in my life. <laughs> and then we moved, and the, the all my friends, I miss my friends from my old ward, from my old town. <sighs> If you're watching that, dude, I wish I could, like, dude, I wish I knew they were. That sounded weird. Like, <laughs> like I wish I still talked to them, basically. That would have been so nice. Like, Instagram, I wish I'd used it more for, like, action. I made a lot. I had an old Instagram. If you go to the start, the first, like, two videos on this channel, there's Instagram sketch compilations. Don't watch them if you don't want to, like, cringe so hard you're face be gets permanently stuck like that, like, it'll hurt you to watch, it hurts me to watch those videos, my brother will turn it on just to torture me, like, I, r I'm not gonna delete it, I'm just gonna live with my mistakes, I deleted the Instagram they were on and made a new one, but, um, and the videos are still on YouTube, like, the 20 minute compilations, they're so bad, <laughs> they're so bad, man. This was back, like, my Trevor Wallace... No, not Trevor Wallace. Eh, I think he might have been a part of it. But, like, Trevor Wallace, Thomas Sanders phase. They made, like, fine ske vine sketches. And, man, might have been some Ryan George influence in there as well. Um, but, man, I... I don't... I do not look back on those sketches fondly. There's, like, one good one. The one where it's, like... I basically was, like... It was Zach King, that's the other dude. He did all the, like, magic, video magic kind of stuff. It was cool. But I basically did the thing he does where he, like, pulls his shirt and it just, like, cuts to him, like, taking it off smoothly. Like, I do it once and the shirt changes and I rip the other one. Like, I rip a shirt off and 
there's another one under it, like, oh, cool, and I go to do it again, and then there's not an, I'm just naked at that point, like, oh, crap, like, I thought that, that's the only one I'm actually proud of, but there's some that I look back on, I'm like, why am I alive? Why would I do such a thing? Why would God put me down on this earth just to make something so wretched, you know? It's not even, like, bad, like, morally, it's just hard to watch, and, like, has, there's no point to it, it's not good, it's awkward, I don't like it. I do not like it. Where was I going to go with that? Anyway, <laughs> watching my old YouTube videos, I'll do that sometimes just to remember how high my voice was back when I started, like being on YouTube and stuff. Dude, I... L <laughs> it's so... My voice was so high. It was so high back then, and now it's so deep. Like, I didn't even notice. I always forget how deep it is. I, I even think it's high now. I think it is high for, like, compared to other dudes. But, like, listening to it back then, I was a baby. <laughs> like, <laughs> my voice back then, it was... <laughs> hey, what's up? Yeah, oh my gosh, it was so high! <laughs> like, <laughs> dang, man. <laughs> it was girl's voice it was ridiculous that sounded sexist i'm sorry but um yeah man it was ridiculous how high my voice was back then um where was i going with that uh the sketches and then what else was going was i going to talk about why did i bring up the instagram again like the old instagram where was i going with that I lost the train of thought because I dawdled for too long on um, one subject. Uh, <sighs> flip. Um, what to talk about? I don't know. I wish I could just, like, skip all the antics of being a youth and just get to where I'm like an adult and I can do whatever I want and just everything's already done for me. Here's the thing I've realized, like, I'm not lazy, but it's just little things that'll bug me. Like, I'll do hard things, like if someone asks me to do the dishes, I'll do it. But if, like, if one of the dishes is just, like, positioned in a wrong way, that'll get to me. And that'll kill my whole mood for the day. Like, the smallest thing can kill me. Just absolutely make me s make me depressed all day. But, like, little things I just don't want to do. <laughs> like, I'll help people, like, in the neighborhood and do, like, service stuff. But, like, there's just little things, like, house chores and whatnot, that'll get to me. Like, I don't want to do this right now, you know? Like, maybe it's just the stuff that feels repetitive, you know? Like, so you'll do it, and then any time it, like, goes awry, you're like, that's not how it usually is. What the heck? You know? But, yeah. That'll... That gets... Just little things like that will really get me. Very finicky with stuff like that. Huh. What else to talk about? Where else? I'm trying to, like, think about my young self. Oh, right, right, right. This is where I was going. So, um, we moved. Ended up moving from my old town. And I was kind of the same here for a while. Like, we ended up staying, like, in this place over the winter. And it was, like, kind of scary because we couldn't go anywhere. <laughs> There's so much snow here where we live that, like... It gets to the point, like, we've had to do a bunch of stuff to really make sure we can actually survive through an entire winter. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Now I'm just scared. Like, we, we're going through that cycle again, but now I'm just... The only thing I'm really scared of is that it's going to, like, really screw up my schedule, but... Because I'm a very schedule-type person when it comes to stuff. Like, if I miss certain social events... I'll die, you know, like, <laughs> I came to seminary, like, that's, like, one of the only things I have going any we every week, like, the seminary and church, if I can't make it to those, who am I? But, um, gotta learn how to ride a snowmobile, quick! But, yeah, basically, we moved here, and then 
I just continued on my little tech love and existence. And then, um, at one point, I went on this, like, big youth activity with the church, because I'm LDS, uh, or for you uneducated people, Mormons. Uh, <laughs> but I ended up going on this big youth activity, and it was super fun. And it made me realize that I actually really like being around people. I love it. I love socializing and talking to other human beings, especially kids my people my age. Back then, I was like, 14. I'm 17 now. But, uh, yeah, I loved... Realize, like, a switch flipped in my brain on those, like, three days. Like, I am done with video games forever. <laughs> like, I'm not, like, done-done, but, like, I'm not a tech kid anymore. I am a social... I want to be a social human being. And ever since that day, I... Ha that was, like... That was, like, as soon as I came back from that trip, that's when the depression started. <laughs> so I've been depressed for, like, oh, I was 14 then? Flip! No, I was 15. I was 15 what, that, when that happened. Not 14. Uh, but yeah, um, since then I just really gone downhill. Uh, <laughs> done thing, uh, then all the, the numbers of some of the girls I got, like, this was when I was new to texting, so I, there was this one girl I texted way too much. We're still kind of friends, but I feel so bad for what, like, really bugging her all the time. Like, I'm sure at some point she was like, stop talking to me! Oh my gosh! Like, I feel so bad for just absolutely, like, <laughs> destroying her texts. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. I just text her way too much, like, several times a day for, like, three months. Because I was waiting for seminary to start back up, because I was going to join the class she was in. Because, like, until basically, this switch flipped right as summer vacation started. And I was just about to join seminary. Like, we were talking about... I was talking about seminary with them on the ride back, drive back home. And then summer vacation started for all the kids. So I couldn't join seminary. So I was like, mmm, screw me. Wow, that sucks. And so I basically had to wait the three months for seminary to start back up. And then I could actually start talking to people again. So that was a painful wait. And then... Uh, it started up, and then seminary started up, I was, uh, did, did a lot of awkward, said a lot of awkward, that not a lot, like five times, there was probably like three things I did that I look back and I'm like, why would I do that? That was a stupid thing to say! Why would I talk about politics? <laughs> why would I do a politics pollution trees joke that, in seminary, uh, uh. Uh, that was such a stupid thing. No one even remembers it, but I do. It was so awkward and stupid. Why would I do that? I look back on a lot of things I did as stupid. I don't know if you can tell, but I did a lot. <laughs> um, and then the winter hit, and my parents did not want to go through the winter again. Because we barely made it out the last one. So we ended up getting in an RV and traveling the U.S. And... The problem with that is if you're, like, moving location, going to a new RV park every week, you can't connect with people. Like, I would visit these churches, see a bunch of kids, and be like, well, I could live the year, and this place is dope. And like, the whole time, that whole trip, I just wanted to be back here so that I could at least have somewhere to stay and connect more. Because this place is great. It's like farmland. It's weird because it's like all farmland, but everyone's like super separated. And there's nothing to do. So it's like the worst of both worlds. I don't know. It's like impossibly hard for me to like connect and actually do things. I want to just be at a point where I can just like hang out with people. You know? I just want to hang out with people in a like casual setting. But I don't know how to do that. Because everyone I know is always super busy with, like, schoolwork and all this stupid crap. Like, gosh dang it. I'm not saying, like, I don't want people to just, like, throw all their things away for me. But, like, I want to be invited to some things, you know? Like, whatever you're doing, I want to be a part of it kind of deal. I don't want you to do, like, bend over backwards for me. Just, like, let me tag along on something, you know? 
but that never happens. Like, one, there's like a thing a month for like, like, that I can go to, but it only lasts like an hour, and you can't get anything done during that amount of time. Like, I want someone that I can just like drive down, drive over to their house, and like hang out all day, you know, and like weekends, you know? That'd be awesome. But no one talks to me. I wonder why. <laughs> when I say it like that, when I say it like Smeagol, no one talks to me. <laughs> hmm. What a mystery that is. I wonder why. But yeah. <laughs> like, I just want... <laughs> like, and then I ended up going to this FSY thing, which is just like... I don't know how to describe it. We, me and a bunch of other uh, uh, Christian kids went to a, like, a college and did a bunch of fun activities together, and it was like the best, mo the highlight of my entire life. Till I get married, that'll be the, the highlight of my life. That week, because I connected with those people so well, or like half of them, and now I'll never see any of them again. Isn't that so fun? You meet someone you connect with super well, and then you'll never see them again. Because none of them lived here. They all live, like, hours away. Like, I guess I could drive over to them. They live in the same state. I We drive over there a bunch for, like, Costco anyway. So it's like, technically I could visit them once in a while if I wanted to. But, like, I'm chronically awkward and can't make a phone call. Well, I could make a phone call and can't text people, but kids, this generation loves texting. I hate texting. There's no emotion in texting. You don't know what they're thinking. What does he mean when he says hello? That was like a Gabriel Iglesias joke. Oh, I saw, but I was like, that perfectly describes it. What does he mean when he says hello? It's so funny. But, uh, like, I can phone call just fine. Like, that'd be another thing. Don't even have to, like, go see the person in person. Just, like, I want to talk... Like, if we just, like, talked on the phone for an hour every day. Or, like, every other day or something. That'd be awesome. But no. But no. That's never gonna happen. No, no, no. <sighs> Why? Why? <laughs> I love how I talk about, like, I want to live in the woods and never talk to anyone ever, and I'll be isolated, and I'll just make music for myself that no one will ever get to hear. And then the other part of me is like, why don't people hang out with me? <laughs> wow, wow, wow. I do this to myself, and I hate it. I hate it. Because <sighs> it's all problems I could fix. Like, I could go out with someone if I just could come up with something to do. The problem is, like, I don't... It I, Like, if I wanted to go on a date, I have no ideas. I'd have to, like... Like, what am I supposed to do? I had an idea, and then it snowed, so I can't do it anymore. For, like, like a cheap I free idea for a day, just, like, drive up to some cool thing and that that's around my house, and then do, hang, do that for, like, a few minutes, then drive back the 30 minutes back, but... It didn't, uh, obviously, I can't do that anymore because it's all snowy now. <laughs> uh, so, like, what am I supposed to do? Can't, like, like a movie, it's too soon to do a movie. I don't know why I said too soon. Like, you can't do a movie on the first day. You can't, like, drive to drive them to my house and do a movie because, first off, I have a bunch of siblings. That'd be really awkward. Like, you walk in, like, all right, don't mind all the re... <laughs> Sorry, that's mean. Don't mind all the gremlins running about. Like, that'd be really awkward. <sighs> yeah, I was just talking to some people at seminary about, like, first dates. They were giving me some advice. Like, uh, don't make it short, definitely. Like, at, like make it 40 minutes tops, kind of. That way, because, like, you can tell in, like, the first 15 minutes even, like, if this is someone you want to hang out with for another hour or two. So, which is smart. Um, <laughs> uh, what else was I thinking? Crap. Crap! Crap, 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 crap! 
It's almost Thanksgiving. Tomorrow's Thanksgiving. Holy crap. <laughs> I forgot about that. Happy Thanksgiving, I guess. Unless I don't... I'll probably pose this. Yeah, I'll schedule this to come out tomorrow. Yeah, perfect. Just have this come out tomorrow for people to watch. Because that's kind of what I want with these videos. I just want to, like, record it, post it, unedited completely. Like, this is like a one-man podcast, basically. 45 minutes? Dude, I can talk for so much longer. I'm going to be so pissed if I look back and the mic dies, is, like, dead. Because <laughs> I've been recording forever. It could die at any moment, <laughs> to be honest. I have a backup one, but if I, like, don't notice immediately and don't know where it cut off, I'm going to be so pissed. But yeah, um, I, <sighs> my brain died, I'm so tired, like, this is a good way to tire me out, actually, like, just do one of these before I go to bed every night, like, although I can't, other people sleep in this room, oh my gosh, this scares me so much, like, here's the thing, you like, you get hard stuff crust, I get hard crust just generate on my nose, how do you get that stuff off in, like, a socially acceptable way? Like, is it socially acceptable to just, like, pick it off real quick? I'm not, like, shoving my finger up my nose like a like a stereotypical homeschool kid, but, like, the stuff that just, like, kind of generates there, like, is it gross to just kind of, like, do this real quick? I don't know. That terrifies me. Like, what are all the intricacies of, like, social... What are social standards? I just don't know and will absolutely screw me over if they ever, like, occur, you know? Just really kill my social life even more from even, like, kill it before it starts even more, you know? Um, uh, man, this is really therapeutic. Um, what's another thing? Where was I going? What was the last thing I was talking about, Flip, before that? Um, People, 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 dating. <sighs> Talking to girls is hard, you know? Like, it is scary. Which is weird. Like, girls aren't scary. Well, I guess some are. Uh, <laughs> some can be scary, I guess. But, um, like, just the idea, like, screwing it up is impossibly, um intimidating um and the problem is i'm already an awkward person like if i i'll do everything to avoid an awkward situation and i overthink things all the time so the uh, like that's like the the final boss for me you know like i've watched all these like comedians and stuff like i know everything there is to like i have all the advice about being married but i'll never get to use it because i don't know how to talk to girls in the first place like, I know, like, all the, I've heard all the jokes of, like, like, the it's not about the nail kind of jokes, you know? Like, how to just shut up and listen to them and let, make them, let them be ha happy, you know? <laughs> all that kind of stuff. Um, I don't know if you, any of you watch Dry Bar Comedy. It's on YouTube, a bunch of the stuff, but it's hilarious. One guy, Jeff Allen, he has some funny stuff. But, like, I know all that kind of stuff, advice, and I can't do anything with it. Why do I know that now? What am I supposed to do with that information? Why do I watch that stuff all the time now? Like, I get myself so hyped up for something I can never have. <laughs> ah, my shoulders are hurting now. Dang. Um... I have to pee. <laughs> I have to go to the bathroom. I could just... I, took it, I could technically go, because this mic, like, unless it dies while I'm going, like, you could still hear me, and then you could hear the pee. Uh, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> That'd be gross. So I definitely shouldn't do that. Um, and the, ca <laughs> the camera wouldn't go with. It'd just be, like, an empty room for a minute, but you'd still be able to hear me talk. But then I have to go upstairs. Um, because this is technically the basement where we're at. We built this room. I helped build it. Um, and by I helped, I, like, did a, like, a tenth of the work. And all the adults did all the, like, the real work. <laughs> like, I did some of the stuff. I helped put the carpet down and, like, some of the wood-related and drywall stuff and, like, mudding. 
But other than that, like, it was all my parents and some of our friends, some of my parents' friends who are awesome. Um, but yeah, there's no bathroom down here. At least no working bathroom. There's one, like, on the other side of the basement, but it has no walls. And someone else lives in there, so I'm definitely not... (laughs) My brother lives in there, so I'm definitely not going to just, like... (laughs) Just going to pee in front of him. Um... Man, this takes such such awkward turn, such weird left turns going from talking about dating to pissing in a uh, house layout. <laughs> um, yeah, I have a journal that I should write in more. This is like my video journal. Like I'll write in the normal journal, like some of the even deeper thoughts that I'm not willing. To, I don't even know if there is anything I'm not willing to share. Like on video, on camera, like, there's some, I have no filter, I have, like, I have a swear filter, I don't swear, obviously, but, like, I have no, like, I'll talk about anything, (laughs) to be honest, like, (laughs) I mean, I'm not just gonna bring it up for no reason, like, I'll try and wait for a good reason to bring anything up, I'm gonna look in here, see if there's anything to talk about, I got a bandana back from my cowboy days. Oh, that's what, something I really want to do. I live for the small moments, you know, like, one day I w- just want to walk into seminary with a big like, outfit showing that I just got out of the snow, you know, that I just got done snowmobiling down a mountain to get to seminary. <laughs> like, in boots covered in snow, leaving, tr- I mean, I don't really want to do that, because the, I don't want to, like, get their carpets all wet and soggy because that'd be rude i already felt bad when i walked in and my shoes had some mud some dry mud on them like mm, i'm gonna leave it on the carpet and it's gonna be super mean like <laughs> so i obviously don't want to like get drag in a bunch of snow maybe like stomp a bunch of snow off my feet and then walk in all dramatically but like all the bandana on the i have sunglasses i don't know if you've seen my glasses up to this point they're like the round harry potter ones or, or John Lennon ones, or whatever, but, um, yeah, I got, have sunglass versions of them, they're not prescription, so kind of awkward, but, like, I'll walk in with those, the cowboy hat, the bandana, big coat on, but, yeah, <laughs> such a nerd, <laughs> Um, <sighs> yeah, right now I've, I have this MP3 player that I put all my music on to that I listen to, like I'll go on walks and listen to this, or just when I'm waiting for stuff, I'll turn it on, and it's got, I've like surpassed a thousand songs on it at this point. So that's pretty dope, or at least a thousand files. Some of it's like repeat stuff, like not the Bo Burnham song repeat stuff, but like other versions of files I already have, like I have 8-bit versions of some Led Zeppelin songs, or uh, Bo Burnham songs, I have the entirety of Pink Floyd's The Wall as one file, and then I have all the separate songs as their own files as well. Um, I should do that for Wish You Were Here and Dark Side of the Moon, no, I just need to like, actually I just need to fix Wish You Were Here's transitions. I'm getting too caught up in that. I'll talk about that another time when I talk about Pink Floyd. Do another artist-related rant, but um, uh, my legs are getting. You ever have that where your legs start locking up? Like I do this weird thing where I like kick them out. <laughs> you know, like unpop them out of their pop them out of their sockets. You know, <laughs> I don't know how to describe it, but just they feel like they start getting tight, so I'll just like kick them outward to kind of like shoot. Lo- unlock them, kind of break them, <laughs> but um, yeah. Uh, it's fifty-four minutes. Okay, I want to get at least an hour in before I stop the recording. One, th- I want to have kids, man. I've got so many cool kids' names. I'm gonna name. I'm just gonna say now. Here's the, the kids' names I have. The, the first names are all, like, the best ones. I have 
my first kid's gonna if it's a boy it's gonna be named Arthur it <laughs> he's gonna be named Arthur <laughs> the second one will be named Peter like Star Lord also Arthur off like like King Arthur and then Arthur Morgan from Red Dead Redemption 2 I'll have like the weirdest origins for all the names I get and then when people ask I'll just like go with the lamer origin like oh like Peter from the Bible sure definitely <laughs> definitely not the nerd option but yeah Arthur and Peter and those are the only two boys names I have but um five girls I have Anastasia and a like a redhead and then Amy because there's this one video game there's this one video game like it is my favorite video game of all time it's called Faith the Unholy Trinity you probably already know that I have a three hour video on it somewhere back in the channel go watch it it's an amazing game I play through the whole thing get all the good endings it's such a good game I love it but um uh, one of the character important characters is named Amy Martin, and I'm not going to name Amy Martin last name, but I'm uh, just name him Amy. Probably have it be the longer version of whatever Amy is short for. What is it short for again? My brain's fried. It's like eight. Pro it's probably like eight o'clock right now. So, and I've been doing this for like three out over three hours at this point. So my brain is fried. Where is my phone? It's right here. Um, uh, don't Instagram, don't give me hope. That's the thing is like, I'll get Instagram notifications or this is the funniest thing ever. I'll get texts. Like it'll notify me when someone texts me and I'll get like all hyped up like someone wants to talk to me. And that's just my mom. Like, mm, or like some like, notification just like random just i don't know just random business getting texting me or something i don't know like how to describe it but like so much hope down the drain why did i go on the texting app that's not what i wanted go into notes samsung notes um right now my current the second names would be like the middle names for all my kids would be like the the artist stuff. I'd let my wife choose the middle names for, uh, I just assume my wife will love the names I come up with because they're, like, the best names ever. Like, who wouldn't want to name their daughter Anastasia, right? So, <laughs> and just says Amy. Okay. And then I have car names written down as well. I n Names for cars. One of my dad's friends gave me the idea for Tony Spark because I drive a Chevy spark it's the cutest little car it's so funny um right now uh, right now i want have i just i want to name it the barrett like sid barrett from pink floyd and that sounds kind of cool the barrett and then i can put like a wish you were here sticker on the back or something that'd be cool but tony spark is hilarious <laughs> um Right, the boys' names, it's Arthur Plant Runyon, like Robert Plant, the singer for Led Zeppelin, and then Peter Lennon Runyon. I'm definitely going to have to change that. That's kind of dumb, like John Lennon, but still, like, there's a better place I could put that, and it's not here. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. What time? Uh, 58 minutes. It's 8.24 right now. P.M. There's a window right behind the camera, so if it was daytime, you'd see it. <laughs> you'd know if it was daytime. What else can I talk about? Do I have any, like, apps I can talk about? Oh, yeah, apparently I gained a bunch of subscribers. I made this thing that was just Pink Floyd's The Wall, but, like, the track listing was fixed. So th none of the songs were changed, because all the songs play in, a, like, they're all connected anyway. So I basically just, like, changed how it was listed so instead of it being like goodbye blue sky empty spaces then young lust it's just goodbye blue sky then young lust is like a five minute thing with this really cool build up you know like it's just like all the songs that shouldn't be their own song aren't the biggest example is the is there anybody out there medley um you can go listen to that if you want it's just all the, like, the worst songs on side three, like, just all in one thing, so it's that you actually want to listen to it, you know? 
because no one's going to want to listen to the like 30 second stop song so i just connect on its own so i just connected it to the end of waiting for the worms so you just it just plays as like this nice little drop right at the end of it and then the trial starts um i left all the like the the songs people actually care about untouched like um comfortably numb mother and uh another brick in the wall part two but because of those videos i have now 274 subscribers why why <laughs> what <laughs> that is ridiculous 2000 22,000 22.5 thousand views in the last 28 days what why <laughs> watch time in hours one point one thousand if you get four over like a thousand if you get a thousand subscribers and four thousand hours of watch time in in the last 28 days then you can start getting paid you're eligible to start getting paid so it'd be cool if like i could just post these and then people would watch them that's why i like hour-long stuff <laughs> it's been an hour i'm gonna go on like ran about this for a minute more but like um i'll post like demos for songs they're unlisted so you don't get to hear them but uh unless you're like someone i know you can ask for the link and i'll send you like demos for stuff i've been working on but i've been right now one thing i've been working on is making <laughs> i heard this one video once that was um uh radiohead's okay computer but it was all done with someone's voice like he was doing all the instruments with his mouth noises like bring him, bring him, bring him. so i've been doing that with led zeppelin songs they specifically their physical graffiti album i like playing with different like editing techniques with each one as well so the most recent one i've done was trampled underfoot which has 14 views cool i don't know half those might be me just listening to it because i deleted the file off my phone no i didn't it's somewhere here I have a bunch of acoustic covers of songs. They're not better than the originals, but they're nice. I think they're nice. I have an actual real thing. The first real product, I'd say, which is an actual parody of a Bo Burnham song, FaceTime with my friend. Go watch that. I'm actually That's one of the few things I'm actually proud of. <laughs> um, yeah, there's a lot of covers or like tr me just wanting to remake Bo Burnham songs because they're awesome. On my FNAF series, I'm, I feel bad like some of the gaming stuff I did that I am actually proud of never went anywhere. Like the FNAF series, I actually am proud of that. Like I like those videos because that's when my mic was actually like semi-useful. <laughs> Getting over it. All the indie games I played in that time. Like uh, Life the Game and uh, Very Organized Thief. Ooh, and um, Papers, Please... Bending the Ink Machine. I'm just self-advertising at this point. <laughs> but Or, um... Inscription. Oh, I love Inscription. Um... There's some fun stuff in here. Anywhere past behind that is kind of whatever. Like, just VR video. Mm, Little Nightmares. Those are some good videos. At least Little Nightmares 2 is. Um... Cluster truck. That's a good series. That's saying I'm proud. This is all just. I don't know if it's actually good. It's just stuff that I'm personally proud of. Cuphead. That's when you start get fizzling into the stuff. That's whatever. Cuphead was fine. It was all right. Card game. I forgot. I did videos playing card games with my brother. Don't watch those. Uh, I don't think he'll want you to watch them either. I'm pretty sure he hates those videos. <laughs> Just looking back on them, he's like, I'm such... We both look at ourselves like, we're such nerds in those videos. Like, whoa. Why? Undertale. We've been... Ooh, we've been playing Undertale for our GameSpa channel. And it's... I, I'm proud of those videos. We beat Sans, and it... I shouldn't be spoiling. I'm sh I shouldn't be. It's... You'll have to watch it. It's something else <laughs> uh i'm not gonna post it yet for a while but we still have to finish some of the like we're doing it in seasons i probably already said this but i'll love to like by the time you're seeing if you're see, assuming you're seeing this around the time it uploads tomorrow i'm definitely not it, the the series our GameSpot channel definitely doesn't 
probably exist yet. Like, the channel exists, but there's no videos on it, so I don't think you can find it. Castle Crashers, yeah, definitely don't go watch. That's, that's like, old, old videos. Don't go watch in those. <laughs> don't go watch anything past that, that's for sure. Um, dang, I want to do a voice cover of Led Zeppelin's Brawn Your Ore and In the Light. Most of the tone. Down by the seaside will be a challenge. How am I going to do that? That'll be weird. Anyway, should probably end the sign off for now. Thank you for watching, if you made it this far. Goodbye.